Hello. And um, here we go. All right, lesson 10, missing add-ins. If you will remember from our other lesson, an add-in is just simply a number in a sequence, or a number in an equation. An equation is a number sentence with an equal sign. So equation, a number sentence with an equal sign. We have this equation right here, 8 plus w equals 15, and then it says find the missing add-in. So we are going to remember from fact families that these three numbers or these two numbers can give us this third number. So we're going to start by reversing this problem and doing 15 minus 8 equals 7. So we're going to see if that 7 checks out with the W. 8 plus 7 equals 15. That checks out. So W equals 7. Good. Example 1. Find the missing add -end. 24 plus M, this is the missing add -in, equals 37. Sometimes we use letters instead of numbers when we don't know what the number should be. So sometimes the most common one is used as X, I would say. So we're going to do 37 minus 24 to find what our missing add-in is, or M. So 7 take away 4 is 3, and 3 to take away 2 is 1. So our answer is 13, but we're going to fact check that, of course, and do 24 plus 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 37, which is exactly what we should have gotten. It is always, always, always important to double check your work. So many times I see you guys with just a silly mistake. You would say 38 or 30, you know, you would just do some silly addition problem or subtraction problem wrong. All right, always double check. Example two, find the missing add-in. All right, well, we see our missing add-in. Now we, got it. we found it, it is here. <laughs> now we gotta figure out what it is. So we're gonna start by doing, I prefer to look at these and see which order do I wanna do it in. I can tell I wanna take the 15 away first cause that will make that a zero. Then I'll take the 20 away and then I'll deal with the six. All right, so we're gonna do 55 take away 15. That will give us 40. And then we're gonna do 40 take away 20. That gives us 20. Then I do 20 take away 6 and that gives us 14. So this is what I think my problem, my answer is. Now I'm gonna double check it. Okay, so we need to do 15 plus 20 that equals 35 plus 6 equals, ooh, I put that in the wrong spot. See, this is the type of mistake that you guys could make, is putting this in the wrong spot and then adding it completely wrong. But I know that that's 41 um, either way. I wasn't actually going to do that on the paper. I was just writing it down to show you. And then 41 plus 14 is 55. So that checks out. All right, example three. A baseball team has nine players. Four of the players are called infielders. So we've got some problems to look at from here. So we have A, N plus five, equals nine. Um, oh, we're supposed to figure out, I'm so sorry. We're supposed to figure out which equation can be used to find the number of players on a team who are not infielders. So what we're looking for is not infielders. So the number that is not infielders. Okay, so let's see. 
there's nine players and four of them are infielders. How many are not infielders? So four are, so we know nine minus four. Well, we don't know nine minus four, so let's do it. Nine minus four equals five. Okay, so we know that is our answer. Um, so we should do, oh, it's how did you figure it out? So you said you know that there's four. You don't know that there's five. So that one's irrelevant and that one's irrelevant. What you do know is that there's nine players and four are called infielders. So we don't want to add that together. That wouldn't be right. This one, we don't, we, we know that that's, we don't know where this five came from in this problem. The only numbers they give us are nine and four, okay? So this five, so that discredits that. We've got nine and four, but we don't add them together, so that discredits that. Um, we have four and nine here, and I'll just skip to this one and say we don't have a five, so that crosses that one out. So now we have to double check that this is our answer. Four plus five equals nine. Yes, okay, we do know that. And let's make sure that this goes with it. A baseball team has nine players. So total nine. Four of the players are called infielders. Four are infielders. And then the next part that I forgot to write, I'm so sorry, says how many are not infielders? And that would be this number right here. N stands for not infielders maybe. So four that are infielders plus the ones that are not infielders equals nine. B is our answer. All right, good. And then for lesson practice, um, you are finding the missing add-in. So make sure you double check these um, to make sure that your answer is right. And then for once you double check them, you can it says explain how you know your answers are reasonable. Say, because I double checked my work. Say, fact families or something like that. But I do want you to actually explain how you know your answers are reasonable. So you do these, check them in the morning. Okay. 